What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again, and it's been a while, um, and it's been a while for quite a few reasons, and I wanted to make a quick video to kind of tell you guys why. As you all know, I have been taking breaks on and off for the past year and so, all for varying different reasons, whether it be losing my steam or losing the want to, but there are also reasons that you may or may not know about it if you don't follow us in the Discord server, which you can find in the banner if you want to follow my kind of inner community of the channel, or if you want to just kind of keep tabs on what I'm doing. That and Twitter are really the best ways to do it as well as the community tab on the YouTube channel itself. Lately, some things have been going on such as family. And what I mean by that is that I have been taking more time to spend with my family in a house. I've got a cat that's trying to claw its way through the door right now and it used to annoy me, now it doesn't. Speaking of cats, I lost my little buddy Roscoe. So I lost my cat Roscoe. He wasn't even three years old. He was an orange tabby and he was pretty well loved by the entire family of this household. When I moved in, Roscoe moved in first because in my previous relationship did not work out years ago for a multitude of reasons that honestly I'm okay with just saying because I don't really think it's important enough to hide. We weren't happy and it was going to be a bad relationship. It was literally that simple. I wanted somebody more mature and I wanted a life that was was better for me and a life that was actually going to allow me to sustain my hobbies despite the fact that I'm taking break from those said hobbies and Roscoe had a close run-in uh, a while back if some of you that followed me for a little while may remember that my cat actually had issues with his urinary tract and he was bleeding when he was urinating and I think it was due to the stress and the breakup and my ex-girlfriend had a cat and I'm sure that affected him as well but he got through it using some medication that the veterinarian actually gave him that they did not have approved on a wide world scale, but they were able to get approved for him and it worked. You know, he had no urinary tract problems. We had to start speeding, feeding him a special food and he came out of it on top. He had a shaved leg from having to have shots and IVs and he had shaved areas around his groin area because they had to do a couple of tubes and little surgical things for him. He made it through that. He was resilient. But, unfortunately, he did not make it through the most recent endeavor. The silent killer got him. And it was congestive heart failure. Fluid had built up around his heart. And, unfortunately, we had to take him towards a place that I do not particularly favor. Though I will admit most of their staff were amazing. It was the doctor I was not a fan of. He was fairly cold. And that may be a result of the career of constantly having to see animals die. And their owners shattered. I've always been an animal lover. I used to have dogs, wolf dogs, huskies, German shepherds, and just a lot of good mutts growing up on the farm where I grew up in southeast Ohio. And they were all good animals. And I always loved cats and dogs and never had a preference for either but in my older life and you know my more adult life I'll call it especially now that I'm, I just hit 30 <laughs> that's what all these cards right here are about because I got a bunch of cards from family and stuff for uh hitting 30 years old my roaring 20s have died but uh to, to the point you know his health was waning again and we came home one day and back from Tennessee rather and he just started acting kind of irregular kind of chewing on the carpet and everything I'd called the vet many times to monitor it and it kind of stopped for several weeks I was starting to get to a point where I was paranoid because he would occasionally chew on the carpet like his stomach was bothering him and then he just all of a sudden a few weeks ago he you know he uh, didn't want to eat anymore and um, we couldn't feed him anything gave him some tuna he ate some of that and well, eventually he would stop eating and then he was struggling to breathe. I lost my grandfather to congestive heart failure. One can't really compare a human to an animal, but I don't know, when you're around an animal for so long, it just feels like they're right up there with you. He was there with me. A lot of times when I edit my videos, this desk is down, I'm sitting at it, or when I'm sitting at my work desk over there, he was just always there. I always shared pictures, always kind of made posts, and he was my buddy, man, and we were just really, really close, and uh, I don't think I've loved an animal as much as I've ever loved Roscoe. And at the same time, we got some pretty devastating news about my girlfriend's son. He's playing football. He's a senior at this high school. The dude's a monster. I mean, he is six foot six and just impressive all around physically, the dude. He's a good kid. And his knee, um, he has to get surgery on his meniscus on the 6th of October. So we're taking him to get that. So we just had all this at once, this news about his injury. It's his senior year. He doesn't get to play for the rest of his senior year, so the season is shot. And on top of that, his dickhead coach, and I'll just say it, he's a prick, wanted him to play, ignore his injury, and then potentially have debilitating arthritis and or worse, be handicapped because he's a bigger guy. And it's even harder on those guys for their joints and stuff. I'm, you know, getting close back down to 200. But he, he's bigger, he's more than three. You know, he's a big kid. So we had 
my girlfriend's kid who was dealing with these problems with his leg and you know we're gonna get it taken care of he's gonna get surgery he's got a great surgeon locally that um, my girlfriend's family is very very well versed with and they know very well feels confident about the surgery that it's gonna go okay and a lot of people have to give meniscus surgery in football you know American football is a dangerous sport it's a violent and physical sport but the funny thing was, it's not really funny, he didn't even notice it, he just noticed it a day at practice. He didn't get hit and then fall down in pain, it just one day it started to bother him. Because he's a tank with legs instead of treads. We lost our Roscoe, I lost my baby boy, and uh, so we had all that, you know, who I consider to be my son. His leg got injured, and I just felt like I couldn't do anything for him. And that bothered me. I just, I just wanted to do more for him. And I got to play my senior year. And I was never a big sports guy. But I got to. And we played the same position. The right guard. So it was just all at once. And I just needed a break. And plus, I have, I just got, I secured a position. I did post on Discord and Twitter and stuff. That I'll be going to day shift in the near future. At my job. And that will leave a lot of time in the evening. Because both me and my girlfriend work at home in this office. She works right over there. I work here. Or I work over there. You know, it, it, it just, I can't record when she's working. It's doesn't work like that and we don't have the time really or the money to build an office downstairs and I don't really like the thought of my office being down there I wanted up here with my family really I took a break because I lost my little buddy and uh, my girlfriend's son got hurt and it was just devastating to see him have to go through that you know I needed to focus on me I needed to focus on my health I've lost like 30 pounds uh, in a good way it was a keto diet she's lost more than me just really impressive what we've done as a couple and that's why I chose to be with her I get to be there for her kids in whatever way I can and I'm learning to be a father. I needed to prioritize some time to be with my family because they do matter most. I'm just sorry that I've maybe let some of you down, that I haven't made videos and I haven't been as active as I said I was going to be. And I, I feel fine, I feel great, but I just needed time to play games without the camera on, to play games with my friends, to be there, but just with me. I've had that time, I feel better, I feel good, so much better. But you know, it hurt, and of course, we had to get Roscoe euthanized to jump back to Roscoe. And I just didn't like the thought of leaving while they took care of that. So I held him when he passed. And my little girl and uh, her mother and my girlfriend were in the room with us when it happened. And it was difficult to see the life leave his little body. And um, he was just so healthy. Other than that, he was fine. He was at a, it was at a peak shape. I mean... He looked so good. He was a handsome boy, and, um, you know, I never thought I'd get that close to a cat, but he was my buddy, you know, and he was just always there, and we've all lost a pet. We all know how this feels, and I just, you know, I think it's better that I talk about it and kind of bring it to you guys, so it put me in a strut, and it was like my girlfriend describes it best, like a slap in the fucking face, you know, just... One day, oh, we're going to take him to the vet. We had an appointment scheduled, but we had to take him the night before. And he died that night at a local med vet. And we had to take him there. Yeah, I wasn't myself. I, I'm sure I wasn't the most polite either. And I even feel bad for that. But yeah, I had to take time for myself because of you know, our kid's injury and my little boy dying. And we all miss him very much, including other Cat Wednesday, his little buddy, and she's been closer ever since, like, because I think they just know, and they know something's wrong, and she's even picked up some of Roscoe's characteristics, our one cat has picked up characteristics of our other that we now don't have, and so it left a bit of a void, and it was sad, but we did it what I believe was the right way, and he... He wasn't going to make it. He, they had an oxygen machine strapped to him, and he was panting, and he just looked like it hurt. He was convulsing violently, and I, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I was asking myself if there were things I could have done to maybe have made him a better diet, or fed him better, or maybe I should have filled up his bowl three times instead of twice a day. I don't know. And then he was just insatiably thirsty those last few days, so. You know, just a lot of bad news at once, and even to top it all off, you know, we lost our cousin recently, and that was the hardest because it was family, and I had time to get reacquainted because my parents divorced when I was younger, and I it felt like my mother and my father's family divorced, which that does happen a lot to a lot of people, and I've been getting reacquainted with my cousins on my father's side, and this was one of my cousins, and he was the oldest of his siblings, and it was a very hard loss, and seeing all his kids having to deal with it, and uh, it just wasn't easy. I loved him very much, and I looked up to him and his brothers like older brothers, and his sisters like older sisters, when I wasn't always the closest with my own. 
and you know we all have our own family issues and stuff but you know we it was nice to get reacquainted with family and um all you can ask yourself is not could i have been there more but i'm glad that i was there in the first place really i was just sad and i needed time for myself so i wanted to catch you guys up i'm feeling a lot better I feel great, honestly. Relaxed, like all I need to focus on is my work and my family and my home. And it's been going good. But, God, I had to work on myself and I wasn't gonna be able to make videos that were worth watching. And they do take time and effort because I edit my own videos. I don't pay someone else to do it. It's not feasible, at least at this point in my life. Yeah. So that's where I'm at now, guys. Roscoe is no longer in pain. I'm very confident in the surgeon and how he's going to handle I'm not biologically their father, and me and their mother are not married yet, but I hope to change that one day too. Just not in a time when a quarter of the family can show up due to COVID, which I do believe is real. <laughs> I don't know how you can fucking deny it at this point, but I don't want to get political. The point is, is that um, I also need to uphold what I said I was going to do, and that was to entertain those of you that come here. You guys are a fucking awesome community. I mean, literally, I feel like toxic people avoid me because they know that I'm going to white knight and annoy them away from my community because I just don't tolerate that shit here. No negativity. We don't need that here. We come here to escape. Politics don't belong. Um, none of that. So, guys, I will be back soon. I plan to have videos out. I'll be recording at this, you know, probably at the earliest this coming weekend. But if I get a chance to record sooner, Thursday or Friday, I will. And I will keep you guys posted on the community tab on YouTube channel. So go to my YouTube channel, go to the community tab, and you can go to my Twitter and Discord channel for the announcements as well. Feel free to check all those out. There's links to those in the banner or in the description down below. But with that being said, guys, you know, just stuff that we all go through. And uh, it was just a bit of much. And... For some reason, I just couldn't make videos at the time. So I'm sorry I've been gone, but I'm coming back now. And uh, I just appreciate all the kind words you guys had to say for me in the server. It really meant a lot to me. And it would have meant a lot to little Roscoe. And it means a lot to my family because obviously they have to live with me. <laughs> and I don't want them to be miserable. We're getting through it together. And, uh, you know, we all know what it's like to lose a dear friend, a dear pet, and family. And all three of those at once, um, let alone losing a cousin was not easy. Just know that I appreciate you guys following um, genuinely for as kind as you are to me. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you for that. And uh, I'm not really afraid to admit my feelings and admit how I feel. I just needed to get it out or I was going to lose my mind. So I wanted to address it. Then we can move forward. And I don't have any idea about what I'm going to be playing. I just know it's going to be a little bit of everything. I'm going to resume Stalker and Resident Evil. And I plan to do some Total War as well. Because that's what I've been playing since I haven't made... Since I made my last video. So until next time, guys. I am Euclid. Thank you for your patience. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. And I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.